What the hell was that? What is up, you geezer bloke type geezers? It is Chris Marder 9 here. And I I don't know what to say. I, I genuinely... I don't know what to say. Uh, where do you start with this? I, 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 that's what's, that's what's going to be the most difficult thing of this entire video. Where the hell do you start with this? Chelsea 2, Burnley 3. No, I'm not making this up. No, you are not dreaming. No, I'm not in some kind of strange, weird dream. This is actual reality. We actually got humiliated by Burnley. I'm not joking. No, you don't need to open your eyes. You don't have to talk about any whatever. I don't. I don't. I, I don't know what you can do to justify what I've just seen. We just lost three two against Burnley at home. Burnley are a side that only won one away game all of last season. And we've just started the new season. And we've lost again. I, 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 I'm... Do you know what? I don't know what is more insulting, right? I don't know what's more insulting. The fact that even before this game started, we only had 14 players available. We had Hazard injured. We had Pedro injured. We had... Well, Bakayoko was injured anyway. I think he's going to be available around September time anyway. I think he's three weeks still out. But regardless... I don't know if that's more insulting. Or the fact that we literally made Burnley look like Barcelona. I, I, I don't know what's more insulting. Do you know, do you know what? I'll tell you something. It's 2015. I'd rather watch 2015-16 all over again than have to watch that. We were 3-0 down at one point. 3-0 down. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I literally have no words. Do you know what? If this is no bigger way of telling the board, sign some fucking players now or face the consequences. Face another strike of lightning because I'm sick of this right now. We did this with Mourinho. We're doing it with Conte. Uh, I, I, I just literally have no words. Do you know what? Yesterday, we loaned out... Lewis Baker. And what did I say in the last video that I did? I said, don't loan out Baker. Don't loan out Lewis Baker. He's proven. What do we go and do? We go and loan him out to Middlesbrough. Oh, yeah, great. We've signed him a new contract. Great. Yeah, but we've loaned him out. What's the point? I don't get it. I don't get it. I just... I just don't get it. We were absolutely horrendous again. Horrendous our defending was horrendous. I don't know what the hell we're doing. I don't know what the hell we were doing at the back. It was an absolute... Oh, it's just a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. Oh, I, I, I just... I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I am, I'm worried now. I am absolutely 100% worried now. We've got Spurs next week at Wembley. Then we've got Everton at home. Then we've got Leicester away. And then we have Arsenal at home. Those are four really, really difficult games. Leicester. Leicester gave Arsenal a game. They were th they were twice ahead of Arsenal at the Emirates. So yeah, I guess you could say that that is a very difficult game. I just... I, I, I've... I don't know. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something right now. If... If we go at the end of that... Okay, yeah, we've lost the game. By the way, just to let you know, this is the first time we have lost an opening game of the season since 1997, when Coventry beat us with Darren Huckabee and Dion Dublin. I, I, I can't believe that runs over now. I can't believe it. But anyway, yeah, so at half time, we're 3 0 down, right? And I'm, th I'm just thinking, what the hell are we even doing out there? Because it, it just literally is. Oh yeah. The other thing I forgot to mention. 
Gary Cahill got sent off, even before the goals went in. Then later on in the game, Fabregas got sent off. The only good thing was that we did indeed get two goals back. We did score with Morata. Morata scored his first goal for Chelsea with a header. And then he actually made an assist as well. He actually gave it to David Luiz, who absolutely volleyed it home, which was a great goal. But the damage had already been done. The damage had already been done. Why couldn't we have done that earlier in the game? That's what I don't seem to get. And honestly, Morata definitely looked like he should have played the beginning of the game. Let's be honest. Um, what else can I say? You know, just listing off all the players that we've gotten rid of. Chalaber, Loftus-Cheek, Baker, uh, 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 Olerena. You know, all these players that, have on, that are on the list. They could have easily got into that team. Easily. But no, we've just let them go. We've let them go and either have loan spells or just sell them for money. Do you know there's one person, there is only one person that I can blame for all this. That is Michael Emanalo. How he is still in a job, I have no idea. Do you know how he got into a job? Through Avram Grant. Because Avram Grant is a friend of Roman Abramovich. So he got in through that way. And then for some odd reason, he's still been at the club. Okay, so fast, so rewind ourselves back to 2014, right? Where we have a great season under Jose Mourinho. He wins us the title. The following season, we have the shittest season known to man, right? We finish 10th. That should have been the mistake that our board should have learned from, right? So we appoint Conte. Great. He gets us a title. Great. You know, Antonio Conte is a great manager. Amazing manager. He What he did last season was unbelievable. Amazing. He got a 10th place club finish to where they are now. Champions. Start of the season. Start of the season. It's happening again. We have literally started the season in the poorest way imaginable. Right. And we still have a depleted squad. Why aren't we going out and buying players? This is exactly what I was worried about. What, whatever I was worried about at the start of the season has just happened. We've lost to Burnley, for God's sake. <sighs> but I guess you could say the only positive side, like I said, was Morata's goal and his assist to set up David Luiz. But like I said, the damage had already been done. I didn't think that we'd get... I would love to have got us a third goal. But it was too late. It was too late. I'm starting to think now. Our, our next four games of the season are going to be tough games. If we don't get a single point out of that. Or if we, if we, get, if we fail to get, I don't know, maybe even three points out of that. We're screwed. We're literally screwed. And it's all thanks... To fucking Michael Emanalo and fucking Marina Granovskaya because they can't be asked to get deals done. They can't be asked to get players signed. It's stupid. We've been needing this all summer and it's not happened. And we've, and we've had to wait until now to start acting upon it. Do you know what I think? Even if we do act upon it now, I still feel it's last minute. It's last ditch. It's just last efforts to get players in. This should have been done Months ago. And this this is the end result. We've just oh, I, I don't know what to I don't know what to say anymore. I I tell you what, right? If the club does not act now, Conte's gone. Conte is out of there. Because let's face it, the relationship between Conte, Michael Emanalo, and Bruce Buck is very, very, very sour at the minute. Do you remember at the end of the the community shield against Arsenal? Where he went up to get his medal. The, the, the handshake was very, very f flaccid and mediocre. He, the, the, that heated relationship between the two is not good. It's not good. It's gonna, it's literally gonna, I don't know what it's gonna do. It's literally gonna just nestle itself into the Chelsea squad and we're gonna have another season like we had in 2016. 
It's a carbon copy. Literally a carbon copy. I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I literally have no words. Well, this has been a bit of a rant, hasn't it? Well, I needed to make this video because I am literally sick and tired of looking at Michael Emanalo. I, I can't, I can't look at him. He knows, he, look at this, look at this face. Look at this face. He knows he's fucked up. He knows of it. He knows that he's fucked up. And he's had to wait until now, right now, to get things sorted out. Absolutely disgraceful. You'd think that in 2016, he'd have learned from his mistakes. Nah. Nah. We're going to end up being in a situation where Conte walks out. Then what do we do? Huh? What do we do? We haven't got any other manager. There isn't any other manager that we can manage us. I don't know what to say. I, I really have no idea what to say. But <laughs> congratulations to Alvaro Morata. I've got to be honest with you. Hats off to that man. Hats off. Because at least, at least, he gave us fans something to sing about. That goal, that assist for David Luiz, that, that really, really gave me some hope. Some hope. Oh, God, I swear to God. If Emanalo is not sacked during at least a part of this season, I, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what else we're going to do. I, I, guy, I, I needed to make this video. I needed to make it. It has been a bit ranty, I know, but who can blame me, huh? We just lost to Burnley. We just made them look like Barcelona for one half of football. What 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 what, what I got to say about it, man? I... It's pathetic. It's a fucking disgrace. Do you know what? Michael Emanalo, Marina Granovska, you two should really take a long, hard look at yourselves and realise what you've fucking done. Because I'm sick of it. You sort it out right now or face the consequences. Face the wrath. Of all the Chelsea fans that have been hoping and wanting players to come in. That's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. Anybody that's want to send some comments in the description below, feel free. I might not even get any, I don't care. But I wanted to make this video anyway. Guys, I've been Chris Modernine. God help us. God fucking help us. I'm sorry I've sworn as well. I've just I'm just so mad right now. I'm just just please acknowledge the fact that I'm really mad that I've had to swear. So anybody that's offended, I'm sorry, but well, hey, this is a small channel anyway. It's not like anybody's going to watch anyway, so <sighs> roll on to the next game against Spurs at Wembley. God help us. You know, if I, if we can get a win out of that, God, I might even have some hope, but I'm not hoping. I'm not I'm <laughs> We lost the Spurs at White Hart Lane last season, and we 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 had a decent side back then. So, <laughs> oh God, God help us, Jesus. Anyway, on to the next game, Hador and peace.